Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in the beautiful islands of Trinidad and Tobago. This is one of the greatest food-loving islands in the world. And it's made up of so many different cultures. It's so diverse. But one of the biggest ethnic groups in Trinidad is the Indian population. And so today we are going on an Indian food tour. We'll be starting off with a few snacks for breakfast. That's a, a breakfast of champions. But really the goal of today is we're gonna go meet, <laughs> she's an absolute legend of cooking authentic Trinidadian style Indian food. There's gonna be over a dozen different dishes. We're gonna watch the entire process as Auntie Dahl cooks over open fire using the traditional chula. And I cannot wait to share all of the amazing food with you all coming up right now in this video. We arrived to Debe. This is in the south of the island of Trinidad. And this area is known for food. It's known for doubles. And there's a large East Indian population in this area. And so we're gonna stop and have some breakfast first this morning. Welcome to Sing's Doubles. This is a popular spot. Oh, fresh batch coming out of the kitchen right now. They have doubles. They have a bunch of things filling, fried items filling the cabinet. What are the different things you have? You well, have we have doubles. Doubles. This is sahina. Sahina. Alu pie. Alu pie? Yeah, baigan pie and kachori. Chana. Chana. We have the chutney with sliced pepper. We have kochula, shadow benny, hot sauce, sweet sauce. Okay. So one of the main things from the cabinet that I want to try is the sahina, which is a dashin, like an entire wad of taro leaves, which are held together with a little bit of batter, deep fried. When you order it, she slices it in half and then dresses it with all of the different toppings. What do you like to have? Um, fully loaded and heavy pepper. Heavy pepper? Heavy pepper, please, yes. Wow, so it's just... And so the sahina, it's uh, taro leaves, dashin, yeah. dashin leaves, yeah. and then also what is the batter? Um, Grind up. Oh, okay. Bursting with flavor and seasoning and chana. It's juicy and fried, so many textures. Mm. Oh wow, that's awesomely tasty. <laughs> What type of, do you know what type of batter, batter it is so with the leaf? It's it almost, yeah. So oh. they use split peas and they ground okay. it. Yeah, because it doesn't. Make, yeah, they make a batter so, and then they, they take the sour leaves and they paste it on it. Ah. And then they roll it into this shape, and they cut it, okay. and then they deep fry it. Okay, because you, because you can tell it's not, it's not like a wheat flour. Yeah, it's, it's more grainy, yeah, more starchy. More yeah, you taste that, texture. that split pea, that doll, yeah. that doll flour, yeah. Oh wow, it's tasty. I mean, I just love how everything is built for just absorbing as much chutney and pepper sauce as possible. Mm. I'm getting a little messy here. It's starting to spill, so you gotta pick it up. Same way? Yes, please. Heavy pepper, right? Heavy pepper, yeah. Thank you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. heavy on the, the pepper sauce. That's beautiful. I'm going in for the scoop. My friends are doing it. I eat everything like a double. Yes. Mm. Oh man, their pepper sauce is amazing. So herbaceous. You just feel the fumes of those scotch bonnets, the creaminess of the chickpeas, and that kind of tart acidity from the green mango. Oh wow, it's so addictive. So much flavor. That's a, a breakfast of champions. Oh man, so good. Good thing they have sinks. 
You're gonna get messy when you eat doubles. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got messy. Yes, sure, sure. Sure, thank you. Just a little drive down the road, we are at our next stop today. Another place for doubles. This is the doubles culture. This place is extremely popular. He sells out of his truck. There's just a crowd standing around. He makes a special version of doubles. He must be one of the world's fastest doubles masters. He's just absolutely flying with that chickpea, with the different orders, all those different chutneys. What a place, the aroma. We're gonna get a specialty that he has here, which is called the diamond. Oh, okay. Oh, so you dip it. What, what type of chili pepper sauce is that? Roast pepper. Roast pepper. You dip it. Oh, that's... And then pepper sauce goes on. The chana. More pepper. Oh. Oh, that looks and smells incredible. And what is that going on? Oh, it's a triple. Thank you. So I'm with Camille, who is another spice lover. <laughs> and we've, we're gonna try the diamond here, which is, so this is his own specialty. Yes. You wouldn't find this at other doubles places. This is uh, something he no, kind I've of like. I've never heard of really calling it the diamond. Okay. Um, but this is like a doubles with a lot of pepper. That's a lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. It's, I believe it's more pepper than chickpeas. Yeah. Probably <laughs> double. Yeah, double the true. amount of pepper as a chickpeas. Pepper double, yes. call it a pepper Yes. <laughs> this yeah. is beautiful. Dig in. Oh. Okay, I'll be honest, y'all. I never really taste any pepper. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's tasty, though. I tasty. Amazingly tasty. So, it tastes any pepper? The, the pepper roasted pepper. Ah, uh, yeah. roasted not, pepper sauce. Not extremely spicy, but the flavor is really nice. Yeah. It tastes like really uh, like a smoky, a smoky pepper. It's amazingly flavorful. Oh, and this is like double saturated because he dunked it, and then after that, loaded it on top so it's just completely like floppy and soggy full of pepper sauce <laughs> after you keep eating the the full thing it does get spicier yeah. it is spicy all right there we go final bite of the diamond mm. incredibly satisfying oh yeah the spice starts to build. By the end, once you're finished, you're definitely gonna break a sweat. The flavor of the doubles is just completely filling my mouth still, even after 30 minutes after eating it. That was so much flavor. But next up, we drove to a place called Faizabad, which is really in the heart of South Trinidad Island. And we're going to a very special place. We're going to meet up with Auntie Dolls, who is a master. She's known for her home cooking, Indian food. She uses a fire and a traditional clay oven. We're gonna have some special Indian dishes. We're gonna have some amazing roti and we're gonna see the process of her cooking. But really quickly before we start eating again, I wanted to give you a little bit of history and a little bit of background about the Indian ethnic population within the islands of Trinidad and Tobago. And again, Indians make up one of the biggest ethnic groups within Trinidad and Tobago. They first arrived to the islands beginning around 1845, and they came to Trinidad and Tobago, especially as indentured laborers, to work on the sugar plantations. With them, they brought so many different flavoring ingredients and seasonings and spices that altered, that influenced the cuisine of Trinidad and Tobago forever. And so again, today we are focusing on Indian food in Trinidad. We've had our share of doubles, which never get old, but now we're gonna have a full meal and see the full preparation. Auntie Doll. Yes, it is. yes, oh, it's so nice to meet you. 
There's also there's a there's a stove and this is no, an oven also. This is an oven. This is an oven. And that is chulhas. Chulhas. Yeah. Okay. And they're made from clay. What a setup. What a location. Right. So here what we have on the menu. We're doing curry duck, stew curry chicken, giraffe pork, curry shrimps, curry lamb. <laughs> We're doing dal puri, bus up shot, pepper roti, pumpkin, shatine, chana and alu, mortani, stew curry crab. How many dishes are that? Yeah, 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 On the um, dirt oven, we're doing macaroni pie, baked ham, baked chicken. Unbelievable oh, feast. And curry fish too. And curry fish. That's at least a dozen different dishes we're going to have for lunch today. You know Chatain? Chatain. Chatain seeds. seeds. So the flesh, you cook, you cook the flesh and the seeds you boil it and eat it. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Sometimes yeah. you use the seeds with so the it's, Chatain. It's like a nut. Almost looks like a chestnut. It was a pre-lunch snack. Mmm. Oh, it tastes like a chestnut. So, Auntie Dolls, what are you making first? I'm going to make some chana and alu. The chana, the chickpeas, okay. Yes. The chickpeas go in, the potato goes in, seasoned with salt. Oh man, that aroma is just absolutely irresistible. We're gonna move over here and make some of the seasoning, especially the green seasoning. Green seasoning is one of the all-purpose seasonings for almost everything, all the food in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, garlic first. So pimentos. And the hot peppers, like a scotch bonnet peppers go in. Shadow Benny. This is the culantro, one of the all-purpose herbs of Trinidad and Tobago. Green onions? Yeah, and celery. And celery, okay. Whoa. This is a Trinidadian milkshake. <laughs> oh, 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 that aroma. The herbs, the chilies. So you see you get text, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Nice and chunky. Yeah. Put some with my hand. Yes, yeah, sir. This is the green seasoning. Yes, this have onion, garlic, pepper, pimento, banana, salve, and celery. Right? Black pepper here. And then this is more. Here. Onions and. This is how it is here. Auntie Dolls, what is the name of this dish? This is stew, a stew curry chicken. Stew curry. Yes. Stew curry chicken. Stew curry because I just stew first and then throw my curry. Okay. Curry duck. Yes. Yeah. This, this is the duck here. Seasoned for the duck. So this marinate in here. That's really that Trinidadian touch, that green seasoning, the pre marinade before being curried, that literally almost everything goes through that treatment of the green sauce. That's my pepper here, that's my garlic here. And in the pot oh, here, Oh, the shakai, right? the this shakai is, is going in. Yes, shakai is going in the pot here. So the next dish that Auntie making is the shakain, shakain. We ate the seeds for snack, but this is like the, the membrane tissue that surrounds the seeds with the curry powder, with the onions and garlic and peppers in there. That's gonna simmer down. Oh, that's amazing. Mix it here now with this. We're going to throw this into the pot. Kalaloo is a normal dashing bush bhaji. So it's not a kalaloo? Yes, it's not a kalaloo. Okay. This is a normal dashing bush bhaji. Dashing. dashing. These are taro leaves. Yes. Dashing dosh bhaji. Yes. That's the full name of the dish. The shakan. This is home. The shakan. Home coconut. Hi, Shigrama. Oh, dude.
The kitchen is now at full blast. All four burners are going, the oven is on, and cooking all the vegetable dishes while all the meats marinate before we cook the meats. That's a bygone. A bygone giant eggplant. That's garlic. That's hot pepper. The other dish they're making is... Muratani. Muratani. And it's going to be a mash of all these different roasted vegetables, eggplant, tomato, garlic, onions, and a variety of peppers. All the vegetables are charred and blackened and ready to be peeled. Water, it had water in it, right? So this is make the coconut chutney, so I'll loosen it here. But then, then when we're buying with the double, just... In the fire? Yes. And this is grinding on a long time seal. That's garlic. Please. Smell it burning. Pepper oh, here. Oh, the hot roasted pepper. Pepper and this, like this. The shadow bunny. Yes. Thank you. The coconut chutney, freshly ground. Oh. oh, wow. It's perfect. Auntie, it is perfect. Enough, enough salt, yes. Oh, wow. The roasted coconut, all of the oils and milks have been released from that grounding process. Just a flavor overdose. But we're getting started on the meats and Auntie Dolls is about to start on the duck, the curry duck. This is the pour on here for the duck. So that's what it looks like. Jack's putting in the duck. This here will boil when this boil down, this is good here. Right. This one starts with sugar, which she simmers down, caramelizes down in some oil before adding the curry sauce, the curry powder, and then adding that marinated chicken. And this is gonna be the stew curry. I'm getting extremely excited. My mouth has been watering for two hours already while we've been cooking, maybe three hours. But things are starting to finish. The curry duck is ready. The chicken, the stew curry chicken is ready. A few more dishes are going and on their way, but we are getting close. Macaroni pie. Oh, this is the dal puri, okay. Okay. Dal. Oh, 
plating skills are incredible. A little bit of everything yes. all together on one plate. Yes. Man, the aromas are actually overwhelmingly delicious. My mouth has never watered so much in my life. Actually, there's still more dishes to come. Some dishes on the fire, some dishes that they're still gonna make. But this is what an incredible variety. It's literally an entire rainbow spectrum of different colors and spices and ingredients. The curry duck, the curry stew, of course, many similarities with Indian food in India, but so many differences. That Trinidadian touch, that Caribbean ingredients, everything with that green seasoning, all those herbs, the shadow benny, Indian food that's been adapted to the local flavor of Trinidad. And our carb of choice to start this meal is the, the dal, dal puri? Puri, yeah. Dal puri. Dal puri. Dal puri. So they, she, she flattened the bread out, she, she stuffed some, some dal on the inside and then flattened it out and then roasted it on that, on that towel with some, some oil. Oh yeah, it's so soft. So soft. It's a nice soft silky yes. kind of texture. Yes, it is. I'm just going straight in for whatever my roti lands on. My whatever the prod. Oh, I think that's duck. Some of the. Make sure and get some rotini, some pepper in there. A little bit of everything. Yeah. So, do you guys typically mix a bit of everything, or yeah, or like go in? Yeah, okay. Like mix everything. So mix get, a little bit of all those flavors, all those flavors together. Mm. Oh. oh wow. Mmm. Now that that duck has stewed down, oh, the flavors are fully mingled and it's tender. The creamy china, the flavor of that roasted coconut. I'm gonna try some of the taro leaves and then also scoop in bhaji. the bhaji, the bhaji with coconut milk, and then also some of the, the maratanya. Maratani. Maratani. Yeah. <laughs> Maratania is a country. <laughs> the roasted mashed eggplant. Oh, it's so creamy, so smoky, charred, blackened, and then mashed, and the taste of garlic in there. Oh man, and this is just such a beautiful mixture of proteins and meats, seeds and nuts, vegetables, all the local ingredients from Trinidad, all on a single plate. How was the food down there? Good. The meal? <laughs> so good. <laughs> Vanessa, the, how's the food? Really good. I have my second roti right now. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and Zach? Excellent. Excellent. That coconut chutney is just making oh, everything so man, much that better. That coconut chutney is insane. It's insane. That smoky roastness from it. Yes. It just engulfs everything into that. It's really good. Mr. Nick, how's the food? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. The best. <laughs> I'm about to try that curry stew, the chicken curry stew. Has a bit of a like reddish color to it. Um, and then the turmeric in there, but then she really caramelizes down that sugar, which is like, forms the foundation, the base of this stew. Mm. Oh, I mean, she added the sugar, but not a, not a big amount. So it's mostly there for that caramelized factor. Not really sweet. You taste the curry powder. I think the sugar just kind of brings the flavors together. Now it's so good, so well-rounded, nothing overpowering, a beautiful balance of spice. Coconut chutney on top. Mm. Again, the pumpkin was stewed down for so long, cooked down until it almost melts into a paste, into like a liquefied pumpkin. This is the curry shrimp? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The curry shrimp right on top. We need multiple I need This is insanely good. Amazing. Yeah, you have to, <laughs> you have to offer a lunch and bed service here. <laughs> Auntie Dolly have sweet hands. <laughs> Auntie Dolly have sweet, sweet hands. Hand. Yeah. Sweet <laughs> hands, yes. Sweet. When somebody cooks well. Yeah. Sweet hands. Oh, Auntie Dolly has extremely sweet hands. Mmm. Oh, the shrimp. Oh, man. That oil is so flavorful. The garlickiness of it. That's a nice pop too. Mm -hmm. Next dish on the plate is a shatine. And again, that's similar to a jackfruit. Stewed down, you can see the seeds in there. And you can see how kind of stringy it is. I don't think so. Mm. No, macaroni pie is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> oh yeah, the macaroni pie is still coming. <laughs> yeah, that you can taste the smokiness. Yeah, That duck is superb, yeah. Flavor coating every part of your mouth. 
Oh, it's a little hard to get out of the chair. So Auntie Dolly said it's time for round two. Whoa, the ham. I forgot about the ham. Sizzling, gigantic ham. Oh, this is a full, like a full next meal for round two. Fish is first fried and then curried, so it's gonna absorb all that curry sauce. Oh, curry fish. That's curry man. This is gonna all the bus up, the bus up shot. I'm gonna cut it and roll it like this. And you push it like oh, this. Oh, so that will give it a lot of layers. Yes. Many layers. I'm gonna stuff it within yeah. inside of each other. So this is what it look like. Oh, so that's bussing it up. Yeah. Bussing it up. You yes. See how it's flaky, <laughs> yes. So that's the legendary Trinidadian bus up shot. We're sitting down for round two. This is more like round This is what? This eight. is the, <laughs> the jira pork. The jira pork. The fish curry right. fish. Crab curry, and corn, corn and crab. the the barbecue chicken, the barbecue ham, and the macaroni pie. Nice. Wow, that's a giant selection. Because it's bus, like bus up shut. Bus S -H -S -H up shut. S H U T, like shut the door. Bus up like shut. shut. Yeah. Bus up shut with some of that jira pork. So it's cooked down with all of that cumin. Thank you. Mmm. It's like really fatty. Fish curry. Oh man, it's just like layer upon layer of flavor. It was great just fried, but then they curried it and just let it absorb all of the, the curry powder. Try that mango, kind of like candied. Mm. Oh, it's a <laughs> contrast of flavor. Smoky roasted sugar, and then it's like sweet and sour. The macaroni pie, something very Trinidadian as well. Well, yeah, that's quite a deluxe macaroni and cheese. It has a tartness to it. You can taste she added some of the, the herbs and spices in there as well. I think this is the ham. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice and soft. Yeah, the corn is amazing. Soft and it's just absorbed. Sweet. All that paste, yeah. And the, the crab juice. Final bite for the day, the pepper roti, which is the massive roti filled with potatoes and cheese and pepper. Some carrots in there. <laughs> and some well. carrots in yeah. there, yes. Some nutrition, oh, yeah, some carrots in there for oh, nutrition. Oh yes. Oh, and just as, as it fries, it's actually heavy. It's so big, 22 inches, like the size of a giant pizza. Massive roti, she slices it like a pizza. Yes. What a day it's been. What a day. <laughs> what a day. Mmm. <laughs> it's pretty good. Flaky, crispy, gooey, elasticy. Oh man, I'm like, I'm starting to waddle. 
<laughs> that was so much food. Auntie Dahl, she is the queen of Trinidadian Indian food. I am stuffed and so happy. <laughs> And then finally, to complete this day, we happen to be here during the CPL Cricket Tournament of the West Indies. And so there is a match today between the Trinbago Knight Riders and Guyana. And we're gonna see some of the match. We're gonna hang out to complete this evening. Jersey is so cool. And if you check out the back. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. So this is like a far east sea goat. Okay. It's like a real festive environment. People are celebrating, hanging out. We have a view of the cricket match. They have food here. Thank you. Rock and roll. Jack has the food. We're high in the stands, in the bleachers, overlooking the cricket match. Such a happy environment. They take their cricket seriously here, like in all of the West Indies. Uh, they take their cricket seriously, they take their parties seriously, their rum seriously, and their food seriously. Shrimp vindaloo. Oh man, this looks great. Peppa, some black pepper, some of that curry goat. Oh wow, that's tender. Curry fish and coconut milk. up having a pretty late night uh, but the cricket match was really thrilling absolutely exciting we just happened to be in uh, Port of Spain at the right time right time and right place uh, but that's gonna wrap up this video again it's been an incredible day of delicious food in Trinidad and I want to say thank you to everyone who helped to everyone we met along the way and especially thank you to visit Trinidad for bringing me to Trinidad and Tobago and for setting up everything and for sponsoring my trip here I uh, couldn't have done it without visit Trinidad so thank you again and then I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos and then also we are traveling all over the islands of Trinidad and Tobago uh, meeting amazing people eating delicious food so make sure you stay tuned for this entire video series lots of delicious food coming thanks again for watching see you on the next video